What's going on guys? First round of playoff action here with the Phoenix Coaches against the Vancouver Canucks. Well, as you can see, the Canucks did have a better regular season than us, but that doesn't necessarily mean that they are favourites to win this particular playoff round. And I'm going to show you our lines compared to theirs. So let's go ahead and check out our lines first, because we know what we're dealing with. First line, I've made some changes. I've put Nyquist down because I think Kuznetsov's got better passing and puck control, which is going to help Bodka and McKinnon. And also Nyquist will help Broussard out a little bit. And I feel that that's something we needed. On defense, it's pretty much the same as we've been having all year. You see CC and Gormley have both gotten up to 82 now. So that's going to help massively with our defensive depth and ability at the back end. Power play is just the best lines for the power play. I split um, Ekwin Larson and Hedman up. But then I checked the GM tracker and actually Ekwin Larson and Gormley are listed as my top two offensive defensemen. So we still have our strongest D pairing there, if you will, with Matt of a four man power play. Much the same story. On the penalty kill, there you go. those were listed as the best defensive players on my team, so I went with that. Obviously, we have Gormley playing on the right wing on the second unit of power. Penalty kill, he's got a decent enough skating, so he'll be able to manage that, no problem. Three man power, uh, penalty kill, pretty obvious. And four on four lines, hopefully, it won't need them. And obviously, we have Mike Smith protecting the cage, as he has done all year round. And we do not need to worry about the shootout lineup anymore. So, let's go and compare our lines to that of Vancouver's. And I think it's going to be pretty obvious straight away. Yeah, they've got the better of the first line for sure. And the second line. I'll give them the second line. Henrik Sedin makes their second line better. He's just lots better than Brassard is at the moment. Higgins and Booth, our wingers have got them covered on that second line. But it is Sedin that's going to make... Defense on that line, very important, which is why I put Nyquist down as well, actually. I think he'll help out with that situation. Obviously, on the first line, you've got Daniel Sedin, Ryan Kessler, and Alexander Burrows. So, that's going to be fine. Third line, about the same. I mean, we've got the two. Our centers better than Santarelli and Anton Vermeer. I think he's got better face-offs. Wingers, Hansen and Kupkowski can't travel out. And, obviously, Zach Cassian has got a better overall and Brandon, yet by imagine Cassie's going to take a few power uh, penalty, uh, penalties. Sorry, fourth line, I'd say it's about even. That Ferrero guy brings down their fourth line quite a lot, but apart from that, Mathias and Richardson are two very solid fourth liners. So, I, I'm going to give the forward edge to Vancouver purely because of the Sedins and Kessler. We don't have players that match them. Defense, and yeah, they've got a pretty solid defense I think our first two lines probably about the same but then we have well we have Matter and Gormley they have Edler and Garrison in there so our second unit is better but our fourth line third line is better so it's about even to be fair I'm gonna get ahead and give Vancouver the advantage because of that second D pairing I think it's more important to have a better second D pairing than a third D pairing but you know it's still not massively better than ours. I think the record indicates that. And in goal, we have the edge. They have... Uh, Lack of Markstrom might be listed as backups or very low-end starters. And we have Mike Smith. So Mike Smith is the, our big difference in this series. And I think Smith is the biggest difference between the two teams. So hopefully, we might be able to pull out a series win here if Mike Smith is on form and everyone else does their job right. This is the benefit of having an elite goalie. He should just outplay their two goalies. That's what we need him for. Okay, so let's not waste any further time. We're going to go ahead and straight into these power play. Uh, straight into the first game. So nothing's happened yet. 1-0. No. Yes, Brendan McMillan. Fourth line. Then Michael Graham, though. Good boys. Two goals in the space of two minutes. No power play. Come on, let's put this game out of reach. Come on, two goals in the first period. I'll take that. 2 nothing. First period. Out shooting them. Let's keep this going. Edmund, come on. Penalty kill. Oh, that was a long penalty kill. Well done. Another power play. Come on, let's get a third goal before we start this third. Okay, so the start of the third. We've had two fantastic periods. Goals in the first period from McMillan and Lack. Very close together. Very nicely done. We are out shooting the um, Canucks by four shots. So it's not spectacular. But I will take it. I think we're out hitting them as well, to be fair. Okay, maybe not. We won't worry about the hits. No, we're definitely being out here. That's fine. We are speed team more than anything else. How many penalties have we taken? 
Yeah, so we're, again, not just a regular season, we're taking, are we getting on the power play more times than we are, than we are being put on the penalty kill? So let's go ahead and carry on with Sim with the third period. Come on. Mike Smith, you've got a two goal cushion. You're doing well. Your defense is stopping shots in front of you. Let's do this. Offense, if you get another goal, I would be happy. Come on. Yes! Brandon Gormley, good boy. Come on, let's see this off. Gormley again, was that? Oh no, I've not been looking at the right thing. Apologies. It was Nyquist and Oli Massa as we get the 4 0 shutout in the first game of the series. And that was in Vancouver as well, so that is a statement win. Mike Smith saving 21 shots. Eddie Lack saving 25, but letting in 4 goals. Very nice. You see lots of people getting on the board. Nyquist with 2 points, Brassard with 2 assists. And grab no with two points as well. So that second line got to work. Yeah, a very good first game. Anytime you get a shot out in the first game, it sets the tone. 4 nothing. I like it. Setting the tone nice and early. We're not going to waste any time. Going to go ahead and go straight into the second game. Can we steal both road games to start the series? That would put us in a superb position. Can't power play, nothing there. So, nil nil after the first. That's fine. We we'll start shooting. Yes, Ekman Larson. Good boy. Oh, okay, so Mike Smith's giving up his first goal of the series. That's fine. Still one all. Tight game. We can we can deal with this. Oh, Dan Hamus. Shots are even now. Okay, so Mike Smith, you're gonna need to outform Eddie Lack for the rest of it. Ah, damn it. Come on. There you go. We got one back. Ekman Larson again. That's fine. One goal down at the start of the third period. We can do this. It's not, not impossible. Mike Smith, I need you to hunker down. Everyone else, get that last goal. We'll go to overtime and see what happens. They're still both road games. Ah, Sean Mathias on the power play. Okay, it's not over yet. If we can get a quick goal. This is a long power play. Uh, no. Okay, so this game is out of reach now, I think. Three goals, two minutes. Not going to happen. So, Mike Smith had a bad game there. 27 shots, 5 goals on. You've got to be doing better than that for me, Smithy. You are going to be the key to having a decent playoff run, and we need you. But we did steal one road game. That's fine. You're not in trouble until you lose at home, and we haven't lost at home yet. This series is one all going back to Phoenix. We have a better home record than a away record. This is fine. I have no problem with this. So, third game in the first round. Come on, Phoenix. Uh, this is not the start we wanted. That's the first shot and goal Smith has let in. Yes, Brassard. Good boy. Back at it. Early early blip. We can still win this game. Go on. Let's win this period. See it out. See it out. Okay, we're being outshot. We're fine. Power play. Come on. Nate McKinnon. I've not seen anything from you. Antoine Vermeer. There it is. There's our veteran leadership. I say veteran. He's only 32 years old, but he's probably our oldest player on the roster. Yes, Brandon, yep, the third line has come through for us in these first two periods. Fantastic, let's check out these goals. Brassard on the second line for the power play, good boy. We gave up the first shot of the game, went in, that wasn't very good. But then Antoine Vermette and Brandon, yep, that third line, getting decent positions and just shooting and scoring. Yes, Mike Smith, good game so far, buddy. Let's see how we can, ca let's carry this on, let's get this 2-1 lead. Yes, Oli Mato, good boys. Let's statement win now. Statement win. That's fine. We still got the routine in place. Two goals is fine. Nothing else gets through. Come on, come on. See it out. Good boys. Four two will do. Four two will do. Well played, Mike Smith. Stopping twenty eight shots. That is fine. Oli Mato with the two points. Brassard with the two points. I am liking this so far. Whew. Getting excited. Ekman Larson with the plus four. That's what we like to see. Leading the team in goals as well. This is the Ekman Larson I wanted all season. Game four. Let's make this our last home game for this round, boys. Let's win it and take it home and win it in Vancouver. Oh, I'm going a bit too quickly. That's fine. Nothing happens in that period. Oh, Sadine scores the first goal. Come on. Let's get one back for the second. Oh, Mathias again. Come on. Let's get this back to one goal. No. Ooh. It's a poor showing in front of the fans here in Phoenix. 
This is a very poor turning. Grice is in. Smith has been pulled and not surprised. Four goals and 20 shots. Kisnetsos gets one, but it's pretty much equalised out straight away. Oh, this is getting brutal now. This could take some recovering from. That's it. Just get a few goals. Show them we're not going to be put down. Oh, oh, oh. So, for the second time in the series, we win a game and then drop a game by a substantial score. We've not really had a close game in this series yet. That was not a good game. That was really not a good game. Mike Smith did not do well for us there. It's okay. We lost the game on at home, but we did steal a game on the road. But we do need to make sure that this pattern of us winning and then winning continues. Because then we win in seven. That's fine. But we desperately need this win to put the emphasis on us. It will make it our series to lose, boys. Okay, get this win. Get this win and it is our series to lose. Again, the first shot of the game goes in. Good boy, Nyquist. Answer back quickly. Come on, McKinnon. I've not seen you step up this series. I need you, buddy. Nate the Great, I need you. Okay, one more one after the first. That's fine. Yes, Antoine Vermette again. Backhand in front of the net. 3-2. McKinnon. Yes. Nate the Great. Good boy. Answering the call. Okay. So we have the two goal lead going into the third. We are out shooting them massively. We are playing better than them. We are being out hit. But that's something that always happens. We are a speedy team. Not a power team. Come on Mike Smith. I need you buddy. Come on. Let's go. Good penalty kill. Power play, come on. Penalty kill. Oh, this is a long one. Good boys. That was an important penalty kill. So it's this one. Mathias again. Come on. Last minute. Oh, -ho. 3 2. But you know what? You know what? 3 2 is a win. I will take any win considering we lost 6 2 last game. This is a fantastic bounce back. Sean Mathias has got 5 goals for the Vancouver Canucks in 5 games. Jesus Christ. That is not good. But on the plus side, McKinnon got his first goal, so hopefully he can get going. Hopefully. Okay, so game six at home in front of the fans. Coyotes, this is your moment, okay? The young Coyotes, this is your chance to get through to the next round and start something good for this team. You're having a fantastic season. Let's keep it going. Let's get into the conference semis, okay? Vancouver are not better than you. You can do this. Let's knock them off. Let's send them home crying. It's a home game. Do it for your fans. Do it for the new Arizona fans. Come on, Phoenix. Come on, Coyotes. Right, I'm going to tie myself down a bit. First period. Let's go. Yes, Michael Grabner. Good boy. Early power play goal. Nathan McKinnon, another power play goal. Yes, this is perfect. Get another one. Come on, three power play goals on the first. Is that too much to ask? It might be, but I don't care. Okay, Matthias again. Would somebody hit Matthias for me? Okay, we're being out of shot, but that's fine. Come on, let's score a goal that wasn't on the power play. Let's get an even strength goal. Okay, so... We turned it around. We are out shooting them now by four shots. And we have the lead. This is where we need to hunker down and prove that our defence is good enough to make a Stanley Cup run. And Mike Smith, it's your chance to become an elite goalie or prove yourself. You have had a shaky, shaky, shaky series. You've been up and down all over the place. Stay up for this game, please. Stay up. You can have a nice long break and we'll deal with the next round when it comes. Let's go, boys. Come on, let's keep the pressure up. Ten minutes left. And it is done! The Phoenix coaches are going through to the next round. No goal scored in the third period. That's fine. We had the lead. Mike Smith comes through as we expected. 33 saves in the final game of the series. Good boy, Mikey. Good boy. That is the benefit of having an elite goalie. I trusted him. And he got it done. A quick round of applause to Shawman Fires, ladies and gentlemen. Six goals in six games. Bloody incredible. First star of the game, Mike Smith. Good boy, Michael. Good boy. And we got two early power play goals as well. So, yes. Let's go ahead and sim. I'm not going to start the second round, but we'll go ahead and sim and see who we are playing. Hopefully, 
we can get a bit of energy back. I don't know if that's actually a thing, but it's still nice to have a couple of days off. Okay, so in the next round, we are playing the LA Kings, who didn't have that much of a better season than us. But let's be honest, we all know the Kings are going to be a hard ass to beat. I think if we can beat the Kings, we will have done very well. Let's go ahead and check out the playoff tree as it stands at the moment after the first round of games is finished. So, in the Western Conference, LA beat Edmonton in five games. We beat Vancouver in six games. Calgary beat Chicago in seven? What? I don't know what's wrong with the simulation engine, but Calgary are doing something right. Down to Minnesota beat Winnipeg in seven. So... We have probably got the hardest team left in the Western Conference. So I feel like if we can beat the Kings, we have a decent chance of making a Stanley Cup final. Knock on wood. I don't want to risk it, but I, Minnesota and Calgary are going to be easier than LA, I feel. In the East, Tampa Bay avenged this year's Stanley Cup by sweeping the Canadians. Nice. Boston, uh, Toronto avenged themselves as well, beating Boston in seven games. So we've got Toronto versus, Boston, uh, Toronto versus the Lightning, sorry. And Wash Philadelphia and Ottawa went seven, but Philadelphia won, so they'll face the Washington Capitals, who beat New Jersey in five. So there's a lot of short series in this. But that's not necessarily a bad thing. Let's go ahead and check out the player stats for the playoffs, and we'll wrap this video up once we check out who has done what and who we need to shout out to do a little bit better next time. So obviously, we just played the six games. Who got the most goals? I have a feeling there's a lot of people on three. Okay, so Nyquist leading the team in goals. And we have Ekman Larson, Mata, McKinnon, Vermette. Yes, he had some good goals. And Gravner. So six players. We've got two goals or more. That's fine. And then, yep, McMillan on the fourth line. Prasad's got a goal. That's fine. Kuznetsov's got a goal. That's fine. And that is it. So we have ten players scored goals for us in that series. I'm all right with that. I'm all right with a decent spread of goal scoring. They're coming from all over the place. Which is what we need. We're not going to have one line scoring all of our goals. Assists. Michael Gravner has five along with Ekman Larson. So those are our two best performers so far. Michael Gravner looking worth picking up. Kevin's got three. That's fine. Prasad has got three. Bodka. Massa's got two. Kopkowski's doing well. Nyquist has obviously got two. Don't McKinnon's only got three points. The first line has only got three points for us. That needs to be a little bit better. But the second line is going well, so I don't really want to change that either. And obviously, leading in points. There you go. You can see that. Penalty minutes. Only a couple of people have got more than one penalty in that game. And plus, minus, Ekman Larson is a plus five. So he is doing something right. McKinnon got two power play goals. We got a lot of power play goals, to be fair. We got, what, seven power play goals? Always nice. McKinnon has got two game-winning goals, though. So when he scores, he wins the game for us. I am happy enough with that. And let's go check out Mike Smith. Oh, I feel bad for guys. He did came. He came in to clean up after the first period, let two goals in. So that's why he's he's not he's not gone well, to be fair. But Mike Smith, two point three needs to be better. But there was that game where they let six in. We had some high-scoring games. His save percentage could be better, but you know it's not bad. He got that shot out in the first game. So, he's doing well. Doing well enough. Is there a team stats for the players? Yes, there is. Okay, why not? Why not? We'll check this out. So, in terms of goals for, do goals for average again? We have the fifth best offense in the playoffs so far. Goals against. Defense, we have the 11th best. That's fine, considering we have one goal when we let in a couple of games or we let in more than four goals. I'm fine with that. Power play goals. Yeah, leading the league. Times on the power play out there. One in five. Power play percentage is one in five. I like that considering we have been on the power play a lot. I'm happy with that. Our penalty kill needs to be better, but we're barely giving up any penalties, so it makes sense that we're giving up goals there because the simulation engine will need to find somewhere for us to concede goals. But there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. The Phoenix Coaches are playing the LA Kings in the conference semi finals. A rematch of the conference finals from 2011, I believe. No, 2012. Apologies for that. I got it slightly wrong. So it would be nice if we can get some vengeance with these new look coyotes. But I think we can all agree this team is overachieving. So let's push them as far as we can get. Minnesota or Calgary awaits us in the conference finals if we can beat the Kings. And I feel that is a team we can beat. 
So, let's go, Coyotes. First round of the playoffs. We've made it through. This has been a very successful year. Let's carry on with the sex and dethrone those kings. Thank you very much for watching, guys, and I will see you all very soon.